Safety Product Presentation by Samantha Dowling, Riley Snyder, and Selena Brockington at Liberty University. IUP product information, our unit topic or theme is movement. Our wow factor, we'll call it let's move. This is for grade six, subjects social studies by Samantha Dowling, science by Riley Snyder, and music by Selena Brockington. Virginia Standards of Learning for Social Studies 6th grade for this unit would include US 2.1, the student will demonstrate skills for historical thinking, geographical analysis, economic decision making, and responsible citizenship by A, analyzing and interpreting artifacts and primary and secondary sources to understand events in, the, in United States history, B, analyzing and interpreting geographic information to determine patterns and trends in the United States history. C, interpreting graphs and pictures to determine characteristics of people, places, or events in the United States history. D, using evidence to draw conclusions and make generalizations. E, comparing and contrasting historical, cultural, and political perspectives in the United States history. F, determining relationships with multiple causes or effects in the United States history. G, explaining connections across time and place. H, using a decision-making model to identify costs and benefits of a specific choice made. I, identifying the rights and responsibilities of citizenship and the ethical use of material or intellectual property, and J, investigating and researching to develop products orally and in writing.
the Virginia Standards of Learning for sixth grade social studies for this particular unit would also include US 2.6. The student will apply social science skills to understand the social, economic, and technological changes of the early 20th century by A, explaining how developments in factory and labor productivity transportation, including the use of, it, of the automobile, communication, and rural electrification changed America, li American life and standard of living. B, describing the social and economic changes that took place, including prohibition and the Great Migration North and West. C, examining art, literature, and music from the 1920s and 1930s with emphasis on Langston Hughes, Duke Ellington, Georgia O'Keeffe, and the Harlem Renaissance, and D, analyzing the causes of the Great Depression, its impact on Americans, and the major features of Franklin Delano Roosevelt's New Deal. The national standards set forth by the National Council for Social Studies for this particular unit includes one, culture. Social studies programs should include experiences that provide for the study of culture and cultural diversity. Two, time, continuity, and change. Social studies programs should include experiences that provide for the study of the past and its legacy. Three, people, places, and environment. Social studies programs should include experiences that provide for the study of people, places, and environment. And eight, science, technology, and society. Social studies programs should include experiences that provide for the study of relationships among science, technology, and society. The particular social studies unit that applies for this sixth grade unit theme would be turmoil and change from 1890s to 1945. The connection to the unit theme is that the early 1920s were a time of change and movement with topics like mechanization, the great migration, the Harlem Renaissance, Prohibition, and the Great Depression. Connection with other content areas would be with science, social studies research is much like the scientific method in that the sense that evidence is evaluated and analyzed to draw a conclusion. Social studies is related to music because music often communicates a story or historical significance. An example from the early 1920s is the song Strange Fruit by Billie Holiday, which communicates the history of violence and discrimination that African Americans faced in the South during the Great Migration and prior to the Great Migration. Okay, 
My name is Riley and I'll be discussing the science portion of our team's interdisciplinary unit plan. So the theme for our unit is movement and this is going to be combining social studies, science, and music together. So the science portion of the theme is going to focus on the impact of human movement through ecosystems, highlighting the integrity and the respect that humans need to show to the environment in order to preserve it. This is going to pair really well with the social studies curriculum that's exploring the movement of humankind in the United States in the early 20th century. And it'll also match what students are learning in music, where they are experiencing the impact of various movements in a musical piece like pace, tone, and volume. So in science, we're going to be focusing on the living systems and earth resources. Um, and both of these are going to be outlined in Virginia SOL 6.7 and 6.9. 6.7, the students are going to be focusing on investigating and understanding the natural processes and human interactions that can affect watershed systems. So they'll be learning about different um, ecosystems and the biotic and abiotic factors that can affect them. Um, specifically, we'll be focusing on tributaries, uh, river systems, wetlands, and estuaries. Um, and throughout the unit, they'll identify the differences and similarities between those, um, as well as some conservation methods that are currently in place to protect them um, and different technologies that are available to assess the health of those ecosystems. 6.9 is going to focus on students investigating and understanding public policy decisions um, related to the environment. So at this point, students will learn about renewable and non-renewable resources, uh, land use mitigation, environmental hazards, um, and ways that we can prevent these kind of hazards from occurring, and then the cost um, benefit trade-offs in these conservation policies. So the main purpose of this lesson is going to be for students to learn how energy moves through an ecosystem, um, how environmental changes can affect both the biotic and abiotic factors in those ecosystems, and then we'll spend some time exploring current methods used to protect the environment um, and brainstorm new solutions as well. So throughout the course of this unit, there are three activities that I want to talk about. Um, so the first one is actually going to start with a virtual field trip, and during the virtual field trip, students will be learning about renewable resources. So the lesson before this, students are going to be learning about non-renewable resources. Um, and then by going on this virtual field trip, they're going to be able to see some options um, that are a little bit easier to use. Um, they'll learn about the financial costs that go into play with using renewable resources and kind of comparing and contrasting those two together. So what's really cool is after they do this virtual field trip, um, students are going to get in groups and they're going to choose one of the renewable resources that they learned about. Um, and they're going to apply that information in a brochure that they're going to create. Um, and they'll end up sharing this brochure with the class. And it will highlight um, whether or not this renewable resource is cost effective, um, if it would be replacing a non-renewable resource, and what the overall implications would be if that renewable resource um, was more heavily applied within our environment in Virginia. The second um, lesson that I want to highlight is a breakout box lesson. So breakout edu is a great resource to use for breakout boxes um, and I enjoy using breakout boxes in my class because it gets my students up and moving, they're forced to work together and collaborate um, and depending on how I want to set up the groups and how I want to set up the box, each group could have a completely different box so they can't you know work with people outside of their group um, and I can make the group small enough where everybody has to be contributing somehow. So I'm going to be using breakout EDUs um, setup procedures to make three different breakout boxes, um, and each one is going to be based on a different environmental hazard. So after students have had a chance to learn about different environmental hazards um, and preventative measures, they'll be broken into these groups, um, and each box will have them go through this environmental hazard. They'll have to problem solve, they'll have to work together, they'll have to incorporate the vocabulary that they've learned so far um, in order to escape this breakout box faster than the other groups. Um, and then at the end, they'll have kind of a journal entry in their science journals to reflect on what worked well, how they collaborated, um, and what they learned during that lesson. The last lesson I want to highlight is called the Oh Dear activity. Um, so the Oh Dear activity is designed to teach about population density, carrying capacity, um, and the impacts that biotic and abiotic factors can have on an ecosystem. So for the activity, the students will be broken up into two groups. Half will be deer, half will be limiting resources. Um, and so at the beginning of every round, every student will have three index cards. One will be blue, representing water. One will be brown, representing shelter. And the third one is black, which will represent food. So they'll each put those cards behind their back and they'll shuffle. Um, and when I say, they'll choose one of those cards. 
Um, so if a deer draws a blue card, that's going to represent water. Um, they're going to have to move across the room and find a limiting resource student um, who also drew that blue card for water. So not only are we shuffling the number of students who are going to be deer and limiting resources, um, by having that random draw, it's going to be kind of a random um, effect of what resource is most needed that year. So if a deer with a blue card does not find a limiting resource with a blue card, that deer doesn't get its resource, it doesn't survive the round. So we do this for a couple of rounds, and each round represents a year. Um, so students get to see the impact um, of what happens as biotic factors increase or decrease, and as limiting factors um, or abiotic factors increase and decrease over time. Um, so after this is complete, they're going to form a Socratic circle. So during a Socratic circle, um, students will be in two groups. You'll have the inner circle and the outer circle, um, and they'll have a chance to kind of discuss what happened during the ODIR activity. The outer circle will watch. Um, they'll switch places. The inner group will have a chance to discuss further or start with new ideas. Um, I like this because it's going to get students interacting and talking about what they just did. Um, and I, as the teacher, just kind of facilitate and make sure that they're staying on task. All right, I'll go ahead and pass this off to the next person. Music can be added into every unit of learning. In Let's Move, I was able to include every Virginia standard of learning for music education. These standards are separated into four general categories and further broken down into specific standards. The first category is performance and production. In this area, students will read and perform rhythmic, melodic, and harmonic patterns, sing and play music written in two or more parts, participate in a variety of movement activities in the study of music, and create music through a variety of experiences. Basically, students will sing or play various types of music related to the various times in history selected. These pieces will be learned and presented in concert form for the semester's concert. In addition to the history, the science behind how we create the sound will be studied as well. Category two is culture context, and music theory. Here, students will investigate musical sounds, forms, styles, and genres through listening, discussing, writing, and performing. Students will also investigate the role of music in society. As students are preparing for performance time, moments will be set aside to research and discuss the historical context of the chosen mu music. The instructor will be certain to choose at least one piece from each of the periods of focus in the social studies lessons. Judgment and criticism is the third category. Mm -hmm. Students will describe performances using music terminology and demonstrate appropriate performance behavior as a participant and or listener. Not only will students be allowed to examine historical performances, but they will have the opportunity to critique themselves prior to and after their concert. Not only will this give them a chance to examine other performances, they will have a chance to, to examine themselves and see where they can fix any issues. Each of these categories are relevant to the national music standards. The national music standards listed here um, are all included in most music units. However, for this unit, we will especially focus on standards 1, 2, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. These completely encompass all of the things that we plan to do for the unit Each standard of learning in music is essentially addressed within each unit. However, we will primarily focus on Music Standard 7 for Virginia State, which states that students will explore historical and cultural aspects of music. We will make sure we take the time to really focus on the cultural aspects 
from 1890 through 1945. And that really encompasses a large amount of music. So we will make sure that we focus just on the areas that are focused on in the science and social studies classrooms. Music changed drastically from 1890 to 1945. Its creation, performance, and accessibility moved in ways the generation before could not comprehend. Exploration of this change will take place during this unit as well. As previously stated and shown, both science and social studies connections are obvious. Time will be taken to include vocabulary, visuals, and facts from both subjects in an effort to make sure that students hear the same language and see the same things across the curriculum from music to science to social studies and even further.